with another MLB The Show 2 video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Battle Royale and what my strategy is to go 12-0. We will be going in depth of how I like to draft my teams, how I approach each game, and uh, you know maybe some hidden gems that are out there that definitely help that Battle Royale squad. Alright, but let's just get straight into it, man. Right now I am on my brother's account. Um, he did have that free entry, so just to help him out a little bit but um we're getting started uh we want to talk about the amount of picks you have at each level right so you got three diamond picks three gold picks seven silver picks eight bronze picks and four common picks so the first thing is those four common picks you want to try to get as many as those into starting pitching all right so you want to get rid of those common picks with your starting pitching right so never ever ever draft a diamond starting pitcher gold starting pitcher silver starting pitcher maybe a bronze but if possible try to get all those comments and starting pitching all right second thing there are certain positions that provide better picks at certain levels so for example um, first baseman there's a lot of power all right well and first of all Whenever we're drafting, you always want to be drafting for power. Battle Royale is all about power. You want to have power in your lineup. Yes, speed helps. Um, a guy like Tony Gwynn wouldn't be too bad. But you always want to try to have the most power as possible in your lineup. Battle Royale is a three-inning game. So, you know, you need those guys that can get you a run with one swing of the bat. All right, but going back to what I was saying about the positions. So there's positions like first base where you can get a lot of power with just a silver pick or a bronze pick. So try to maybe save those diamond and gold picks for other positions like second base, catcher, for example, here, Pudge. I mean, there is power at catcher, but it's a position that, you know, you'll end up having a bad pick at that position if you don't take a good pick at the beginning with it um all right so you want to draft power in your lineup you want to have at least at least two good righties and two good lefties in your pen and by good i mean people that you know how to use so they can be a silver they can be a bronze they can be a gold they can be a diamond it doesn't matter what they are as long as you know how to use them you know knowing your pitch combinations and all that all right, but let's, for example, right here, I don't really like Trevor Hoffman. He doesn't pitch hard enough for me. I don't feel like he's a, sh a shutdown pitcher for me, so I don't go with Trevor Hoffman. Here, you, we got Pudge and Tony Wynn. Right field, I can get a good right fielder. Outfielders, I feel like they're very disposable, like if that makes sense. Like you can get a good outfielder with your bench picks. So like with your bench picks, you can fill in some of those gaps and it's easier to fill in an outfielder than a catcher. Right, so we're gonna go with Pudge here, right? Okay, here we actually got our second pick, right? So here, Rich Gossage is a nice pitcher. He's a nice shutdown pitcher. Brett Boone, he's a second baseman with power. That's rare. You don't see a second baseman with too much power in this game. And then you got Adam Dunn, who's a monster, right? So here, this is kind of a little dilemma uh, you can get into. It's just what you want to go with, you know? You can go with a good pitcher, you know, have already a nice, nice, really nice righty in your pen. Go with a position where you know you're not going to get that much power with any other picks. Or you can just go with the stud lefty hitter, right? I really like Adam Dunn. Um, so I would normally go with Adam Dunn here. But the smart pick would probably be Brett Boone. Just because you're going to get that nice power at second base. So, it would be between Brett Boom and, and Rich Gossage at this point. So, we go with Brett Boone here. So, now we got a catcher with power and a second baseman with power. Right? Here into the third pick, we get this Jose Peraza. I really don't like players like this. Um, low power. I mean, they have he has decent speed, but really low fielding as well. So, not an ideal player. Sim Dyson, he's a solid player. He's a solid pitcher. Um, I usually like pitchers who have cutters. Cutters and sinkers are the two main pitches that I'm looking for. But if they have one of them, it's okay. Um, I like to use that cutter against righties to the outside part of the plate. 
because it looks like a fastball, so people will roll over on that cutter. So Slime Dyson is one of those pitchers who, like, he's only a silver pick, but I pitch really good with him. So that's somebody I would take right there. Okay. Here we got a bronze pick. So here you really don't want to waste any of your picks on positional on positions that you're going to need. So at the beginning of the video, I said that you want to try to get rid of those common picks, right? You have four common picks. So here we can we can use one of these bronze picks for the starting pitching, right? So let's do that. Okay, here we got another bronze pick, right? So you want to get rid of picks to positions that you know aren't going to have much power regardless of what the pick is, right? So center field, for example. Center fielder, there's... Ah, oh, shit. Wait, this whole time I've been fucking streaming? All right, and we're back. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. I clicked the start streaming button instead of the start recording button. All right, but let's get back into what we we're talking about. So we were going over positions where you can get rid of picks. So where you can get rid of those bronze uh, common picks that you don't need. Or like if the round is just trash, then, you know, get rid of those positions before you get rid of the good positions. So those positions include center fielder, um, second base, and... Um, the other two outfielder spots as well and then go on from there um if you don't have any other positions to get rid of then you can use a starting pitcher again but um yeah right in this situation we would probably go with delano de shields because even if we don't get another good outfielder delano de shields does have that good speed so good speed and good fielding so that helps us out so we'll go with him um cam Bedrosian, he has slider sinker fastball so it's not not really a good pitcher he doesn't have anything that goes downward so we wouldn't really waste a pick on him even though he has a plus six today all right so right here we got another bronze pick this garcia he has plus nine against righty so not that great we got another bronze pitcher and then another outfielder who's not too good this Ryan Dole, he has a changeup slider and fastball. So this would be one of those like you get into extra innings type of guy. Um, this is really a waste pick, but he's not too bad of a pitcher. So you can just go with the reliever in this point here. So you got your common, you go with your pitcher. All right. So here we got another bronze pick. So right now the picks aren't really going in our favor. So like right here, you would never want to waste a pick on a first baseman like this because you're just getting rid of a, a like you're wasting a pick on a really good position and you're just like taking away your opportunity of getting a really good guy at that position right so no there no at third baseman no at shortstop because shortstops are hard to replace with um with bench picks so this is one of those situations where you have to take another starting pitcher another bronze starting pitcher unfortunately all right so right here we got a gold pick right here so no starting pitcher aj ramos he is a uh, really good uh really good uh closing pitcher he has that cutter change up slider and he has a weird delivery um that's another thing with uh relief pitchers weird deliveries count um as a hitter when you face a guy who has a weird delivery you know it's harder to hit so why not take pitchers who have a uh a harder to see delivery uh xander bogarts um He's okay against righties, but his power against lefties is too low. Um, I feel like we can get a silver shortstop who would actually be better than him. So not worth wasting the gold pick here. And then Willie Stargell, a really nice left fielder who can also play first. Um, yes, he is really nice. But AJ Ramos is just one of those pitchers. You take Ramos, and uh, now you would have your two good starting pitchers. You're not two starting pitchers. You're two good relief pitchers in Sam, D uh, Sam Dyson and AJ Ramos. So really, you wouldn't have to worry about another righty relief pitcher. Yes, if one comes up, you can take him. But by taking Ramos, you don't have to worry about that as much now. Now you can just worry about lefties. All right. So here. I got another bronze pick, so it's probably another throwaway pick. First thing you do is you check the relief pitcher. Fastball slider, so he only has two pitches. So that's a big negative. We are not picking that. Um, we go to third base. Not going to waste a bronze pick on a third baseman. 
are not going to waste a third base pick on a bronze and then a right fielder who is pretty bad um right field is a position that can get you a lot of power with the diamond pick so like a jose bautista um there's other very good right fielders so usually you don't want to get rid of that so unfortunately we're going to have to use another bronze pick here um remember i did say you want to try to get rid of all those common picks but then there's situations where you really can't so you just got to go with that right here we get the bronze pick now you get rid of the bronze pick so here is the situation where we have two common picks left so we're gonna have to get rid of those at some other positions right which kind of sucks some but sometimes you know traps are all about luck and yeah all right so here we got a josh bell this josh bell is actually not too bad um he's a switch hitting first baseman he has a uh, over 60 power against both sides he has good contact against righties um he's a very balanced player he does have terrible fielding um, but yeah, we have this Nolan Arenado who's good at fielding, not great at hitting. And then this Alemi, Alemis Diaz who's not too, he has a downgrade today. So that's a no. So right now it would be between Kelvin Herrera and Josh Bell. Here I would go with Kelvin Herrera just cause I know I can get a better first baseman. Like he's good, but I know I can get a better one. Kelvin Herrera is a solid, 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 uh, relief pitcher. So now we for sure ha have all our righties. Now we don't have to take any more righties. We're good. So Trey per, Troy Persava out of the window. We don't we don't need him. Jackie Robinson, he has okay stats, but just not enough power in my opinion. Then you got this Justin Upton. Um, he's one of those uh reverse inverse um inverse splits. So he actually oh wait no no I'm lying I'm lying no he's not he actually hits better against lefties. I'm lying. Um, but you can't pass up on a Francisco Lindor, man. You, you just can't pass up on a switch hitting shortstop who has more than 60 power and good fielding. You just can't. You, you don't get that type of uh, potential at shortstop. So you go with the diamond shortstop there. Here we got the common pick, right? So here we still have three picks, right? We still have three picks, but we still need two lefties. So ideally, you don't want to get rid of a, a pitching position so waste that pick on uh, another position so i mean this dylan uh cousins he has 66 power against righties at the end he can probably work out as a bench bat and we can always replace our outfielders with one of one of our bench picks so we'll go with him all right here we go now we got another um silver pick so here we He's a lefty. AJ Minter's a lefty. He has a cutter and a changeup, which is not a bad thing. He does have a downgrade. Paul Goldschmidt's a first baseman. He's not too bad. Gordon Beckham, don't really like him. He can play second base. And then Tony Kemp, just another guy who doesn't have too much power. Um, So here, I would either be between Paul Goldschmidt and AJ Minter. And yes, AJ Minter does have a downgrade today. But, I mean, people are going to hit regardless in BR. BR, it's it's not too hard to hit in br like everybody's gonna hit and then everybody's gonna foul tip even though they're very early so like i don't really worry like yes i, I would like to have good caper nines but i mean he would still have above 75 caper nines um i just want a pitcher that i know i can pitch with so a cutter and a changeup he's usable for me he throws 97 i'll take him especially right now that i need a lefty all right now here we get Chris Davis, who's actually one of the few comments who might be like usable. Um, you really don't want to, I really don't want to take him, but at this point, we're kind of we kind of have to because we still need lefties in the pen. We don't want to waste one of those picks with this pitcher, so we're gonna have to use that first base pick. And first base is not too hard of a position to replace if we need to. And, I mean, Chris Davis is actually usable, even though he has a minus 7 today. Um, I know some of y'all are going to question, like, why are you picking players who have downgrades? I mean, he goes from a 79 to a 72. So, he's still going to have good power against righties. You don't want to waste that pick. These other guys are trash. I mean, we could go with the left fielder and then just replace the left fielder later on. So let's actually do that. Let's actually do that. Let's go with the right fielder. 
So here, th this is one example right here. Rudy Teles. He is going to have 90 contact against righties and 89 power against righties. And he actually has 52 contact against lefties and 58 power against lefties. So not too bad. And he's only a bronze. He's only a bronze and you're getting that type of power at bronze. This is why you save these picks, these first baseman picks. Because you can get players like this. All right, here we go. So we actually didn't get any good picks here for what we need. But you go with Blake Trining. I mean, I pitch really well with Blake Trining. So you just go with the guy you know how to use. All right, here we got another gold pick. Um, we didn't get the lefty we need. Matt Bush is not a bad pick. But uh, these two guys right here, man, both of them crush. Here, Suarez is a for sure pick. So we go with Suarez. And here we go. So we got the silver pitcher, but we got unlucky and didn't get a lefty. So that's unfortunate. So, you know, sometimes just things just don't go your way. So then you just got to go with the best available option. So here I would just go with Steve Ciszek, has a weird delivery. I know he only has a slider sinker fastball, so pretty much fast at once, too fast and one slow. Um, but I mean, he has a weird delivery, so you go with Steve Ciszek. All right, now here you're just trying to fill in gaps. This is where I was talking about what's easier to fill in. So we need two outfielders. Chris Davis is, look at that power. Oh. That's a dream right there. Um, you go with him. You see Chris Davis, you pick Chris Davis. All right. So that gets rid of one of our gaps. So right now we had a gap on left and right field. So that takes away one of them, right? So now we still need one more good outfielder and maybe a first baseman who's more. I mean, Rudy Tillis isn't bad. Rudy Tillis is a, is a good, good, good hitter against righties. But we could use another first baseman that, you know, is more balanced and we could use a uh, Tell us as a bench bat. So here we got Fernando Tatis and then Randall Grichuk, another guy who has nice power uh, against both sides. That fills in our second spot in the outfield. All right. Now, now we don't really have that many gaps in our lineup. Um, every Everything looks pretty balanced. Maybe we can get another center, our center fielder just to replace the shields. Um... But yeah, then after that, you just start looking for bench bats. You just start looking for speed. But since we already have speed in Delano the Shields, let's just try to get a replacement for him that has better hitting. So here we could go AJ Pollock, um, Jesse Wrinkler, or Wilmer Flores. So Wilmer Flores can play third. Suarez can't play anything in the outfield. He can play second. Brett Boone can't play anything out there. And then first, uh, I don't think Rudy Tillas can play anything out there. So we would have to go with one of these outfielders. So at this point, you start looking at how many lefty bats you have, how many righty bats you have. So you replace that Cozens and Field with Grichuk and Davis. So those are righties, righty, righty, switch hitter, lefties. So technically, we only have two lefties in our lineup right now. So we would probably go with this. Uh, oh, actually, no, no, no. Look at that fielding. Look at that fielding and speed. You don't want a guy like that in center field. Um, we would have to go with uh, Brandon Nemo here. He has terrible fielding, but he has good speed, so that can make up for it. Um, or we can just go with Pollock, who has speed. Yeah, at this point, you don't want to you don't want to take common fielding out there, um, not, especially not in center field. So even though you have more lefties and righties, you still have to go with AJ Pollock here. All right, now you get these uh these bronze picks. You're just trying to look for good power. Good power or solid player, solid gems. This Brian Goodwin, really balanced hitter. He could honestly start in center field for us if we wanted to. He has decent speed, decent fielding. Um, just a really nice balanced player. We'll go with him. And here you're just looking again to fill in something. Sometimes you don't get anything, but it seems like Ryan Hilly's gonna be our best option here. Yeah, he just has the most power out of all of them. Alright, but let's uh let's look at how this team ended up. Right field, right field. Pollock. Ooh, Brian Goodwin's actually a lefty, so we do need a lefty, so we put him in there for Pollock. Couldn't get rid of Rudy to less. All right, but here's where our lineup comes into play. So most of the time, bro, I like to lead off a lefty hitter who crushes against righties because it's just it's it's a 50-50 that your opponent. Is going to have a lefty or a righty on the on the mound, 
So he doesn't get to like he doesn't get to decide to you know put a lefty in against Rudy Tulas. So you have that 50-50 chance that you're gonna face a righty with your 89 power and your 90 contact. Okay, and then we're gonna go with Pudge, who's our second, who's our best hitter pretty much. And then uh, we we can probably go with uh, Lindor here, maybe maybe Chris Davis actually, then Lindor. Then uh, Brett Boone, then Grichuk, Goodwin. Ooh, Suarez is actually two down. Put him here just because he has more power than Brett Boone. Ooh, uh, Grichuk down here. So yeah, so like you want to try to get like some lefty, lefty, like lefty, righty, lefty, righty matchups. Try to like interchange them uh, when possible. But yeah, so the lineup looks good. Um, this is definitely a lineup that you can do work with. I mean, you got power at all. I mean, look at that. You got plus 60 power almost at every position here. And that's what you need, man. Like, plus 60 power, plus 70 power. You know, that, that's going to win you games right there if uh, you're making solid contact. Let's go look at our bench. We have the speed. If we ever need to put in, just plug him in, steal some bases. We got Delina. And then uh, we got a guy who can hit righties. And we got a guy who can hit lefties and that's what you need and then you just got an extra bat who can hit good against both sides then you go to the pen the pen we unfortunately we were not able to get the lefties we wanted but we do have that one lefty we can use and then another thing is we do have blake trinan with the cutter and slam dyson with the cutter whenever you can't get lefties um the cutter from a righty is a really good pitch to the lefties but you want to make sure you get it far inside so it jams the opposition all right but yeah we got two three four really good righties and then a solid lefty um so overall not too bad of a pen but not a great pen all right now this video is already pretty long so we will talk about gameplay a little bit in the next video um i will go over patience and all that stuff this uh, video went a little bit too long longer than what i intended it to be but was just trying to get all the details of why i pick how i pick um but yeah guys uh hopefully this helps y'all out um, what I want y'all to like get the concept of is not wasting picks on good positions. Um, like, keep in mind that you can get really good players with bronze and silver picks at positions like first base, um, third base, left field, right field. You know, there's some really, really nice players who are only bronzes and silvers that you can get at those. So you don't have to waste those gold and diamond picks. Um, that being said, guys. Um, Hope this video helps y'all out. Hopefully, y'all start getting some more 12 and O's. Um, if you guys have any questions, just whisper me, DM me. And uh, stay tuned for the next video because there will be another video going out with this video. Uh, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.